Hi there, welcome to number one geek. It is I, Sans, your ever depressed host. <laughs> We're back with some more Project Zomboid Black Summer. Now, we have managed to get to what I have defined as our um, our place of residence. Um, a few issues first. Uh, I need food. I'm out of food. I'm out. There's some zombies over there as well. So, first of all, let's just... Uh... Let's deal with the, the hostiles. So I was, I was just, what I'm just doing is just practicing with the gun. Okay, so we're going to head down to this section down here to make sure that we've got some food at least for the short term. I suppose I should bring the map up at some point, but uh, we'll do that there. Let's just run our way down here. We've got loads of zombies here. We need to clear this area out anyway. Known that for a while. And that's, I think that's where we probably want to be heading for. Maybe. Huh. I'll have to wait till it's a little less foggy before I make uh, an assumption as to what that is. It might just be a, a fence somewhere. There's a load of zombies up there that need clearing up, but I'll do with them later. Let's go for the main... Our main target. Which is... But then again, we're tired. Well, actually, think about it. I probably need the food. So we'll deal with the tiredness for the short term. Now, at some point, we should start expecting the uh, helicopter events to start uh, kicking in. Not too sure when it's time to go in, but there's a certain timer point when the, uh, the helicopter events come in, which I suppose it's timed into when the people who created this uh, this challenge felt people would probably get there. I think, to be fair, I don't think they realised just how hard this challenge was. There are parts that have kind of been a bit easier to for example, uh, South Muldra wasn't actually where anyone thought it was going to be. So that kind of uh, made a mess of situation. So uh, we missed South Muldra. It's actually South Muldra was very far away from actual Muldra itself. To the point of not actually being anywhere near Muldra. But I digress. Now, sight of all these cars here kind of indicates there's a food market. So hopefully I will have some food here. I'm kind of hoping at some point I'm going to be able to grow something. Cross that bridge as and when we come to it. Ah. 
Did not see you coming. Last one, hopefully. Now, the only issue that we have here at this food market is that there are going to be not a lot of stuff. But there's a burger joint here as well. I hear zombies. Ah, there's a big group over here. There's a runner. I'll do with you too. That's no problem. Well, well, this is quite a long point. I think probably this is the most exciting part. Doing a bit of searching around this area. Right. Drop that lead pipe as it's broken. Pipe. Okay, so that ain't going to open for us. All right, so it is a smash window time. I had a God damn. Ugh, that's annoying. Mac and cheese. Do I have a packet of crisps or something? Ah, oh, canned food. Good stuff. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Missing in there. Okay. Now, I'm not going to... Uh... I'll eat those chips now. I'm not going to uh, do anything with that rotten food just right now because there is a certain point in cooking where you actually get. I'm going to take the pasta as well. Good enough that you can actually make decent food out of uh, crappy stuff. Just hoping that the weather is going to improve a little. I will leave that there for the moment. Good reason to go back. Nothing in there, okay. Nothing doing. Bag of plaster powder. Okay, not 100% sure. That's got to be the toilet in there, hasn't it? Yeah. Right, I think it's time we head home.
maybe when it's a little bit brighter, we'll uh, head out. So I'll be back once we've got something else exciting to do. Okay, so I've, uh, I'm just spending my time clearing out the farm area, which is a, a large job. I've picked up a couple of rifles uh, and I've popped them in the house. Uh, and I'm just going to have a quick look around up here. I'm just going to ignore these guys for the moment. I just want to check, see if this greenhouse here will give me the uh, growing conditions that I can use to actually start growing items straight away. Only issue being is this group up here. I think I'm going to have to fight my way through this. Give me one second and then uh, we'll be back. Right. That's them sorted. I don't think, don't know if I'm going to be able to there. But guys, if you have a suggestion of how I could uh, actually uh, turn this into an indoor uh, terrarium, I suppose is the best uh, thing, or orangery or something, uh, just pop it down in the comment section. Let me let me know what you think. Uh, best way to uh, move forward: box of paper clips and some nails, glue. It's not a lot hit, but. I can disassemble these tables, which will help. Well, I'll, I'll do that off camera, because obviously you guys want to see what's going on around here. So there's a shed over here. Will the door open? The door will open. Nice. Welding rods, hand torch, box of screws and a plank. Not much you're doing there. There are a couple of houses up here, which may mean food. There's a Repsol valve. It's a shame that we can't use vehicles. the house key. Well, that's really going to help me. Diamond pattern sweater. Sexy mug jewelry. Jump scares. There's an empty cooking pot, which I will take. I'll take that roasting pan as well. There's a box of nails there. I'll also take that, because that'll be useful. Anytime I want to, of course. Right, so we found some interesting stuff, and uh, we we're just going to have to start looking at, well, I'm going to have to go carpentry up, and then see about securing this area out with some uh, borders and some uh, fencing and stuff, but uh, we'll get to that when we can. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so, gone back, done all our bits and pieces. I'm going to try the burger joint, see if we can get some more food. I will have to deal with these guys first, by the looks of it. The good thing is, there's a uh, fence that's uh, popping up the back of that wall. What else might be there? I do like the random sounds that start happening now. The ones that get you a little bit nervous.
There's a rolling pin. Good stuff for carpentry here as well. Obviously, I won't bore you guys with that. Empty bucket. Hmm. Something in the fridge. Rotten food. Okay, as you may or may not have got to the point that uh, we have been doing... Um, We've added a couple of mods, which is the pit traps and the uh, uh, silo panels. So uh, hopefully we'll be looking for some stuff for that. Uh, it looks like I might need a spade to start digging stuff now. Uh, and that's about it. But I think we're right here at the end. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you. If you've got some ideas, tips, suggestions, please pop those down in the comment section as well. And also, if you uh, like what you see, press that subscribe button. If you super duper like it, why not press that bell icon so you get updated every time I upload new content to YouTube. Now, it's just a click for you guys, uh, but it's massive for me in the YouTube algorithm. But uh, obviously, no pressure. I don't want to be one of those people that keeps bugging everyone. I guess on my tits as well. Uh, and that's about it, guys. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.